<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. In case you're not aware, every Tuesday we do a different series on answering your questions about the vegan lifestyle. And this happens every Tuesday here on this YouTube channel. And this also goes onto iTunes and Stitcher on Fridays. Um, the same sort of thing, but just the audio, obviously. So thanks for joining us. And today is what's wrong with free range. Now there's a total lack in clarity for the free range and even the cage free world of packaging and marketing, all the terms that they use when you see them all in the supermarket. Everyone's really, really confused. And this is not a good thing, but is it? I guess it is for the people who produce these, these um, products, but it's not really for the public. So here's a few facts and figures about it. In case you didn't know, there's actually no official national standard in Australia or even overseas for free range eggs or for animal flesh products. The same cage free label can actually mean a variety of things to various producers. And there's no a doubt about it because we are being misled. In a Retail World Grocery Guide in 2012, it showed that free range business has 39% of the egg market in the value and the free range eggs having the most growth. Most people want to do the right thing if they do consume eggs and they want to do the right thing and they're thinking by buying products that have free range or cage free on them that they are actually helping the animals but they're really not I'm sorry to say um, most people find it essential or really important to buy eggs that are free range if they if they care about those sort of things and they're actually willing to pay more money for it when money is at stake and um, these producers can make more money than selling the normal cage and barn hens, you can be assured that they will do what they can to make that money. Free range uh, means that eggs or meat produced from animals and these animals will have access to outdoor spaces. So whether or not that's throughout the day, whether or not it's at night, um, they can also have free access to graze or forage for food and this can be from eggs, chickens to pork and even grain, uh, grass fed beef. There's many different things that use the term for free range and um, I've heard lots of different stories, I've seen lots of undercover investigations of places that are meant to be actually free range facilities and they're really not because the biggest issue is that there's no governmental regulation or legal definitions for free range and the labels really don't give any protection at all to our animal friends or you want to know why well the certification standards are set by various industry bodies including australian egg corporation free range egg and poultry association free range farmers association victoria along with animal welfare organizations such as RSPCA and the Humane Society internationally. Now I'm just giving you some examples of who controls this in Australia but be sure that these would be the same sort of um, groups that would be in charge of this overseas. And all of these certification schemes are voluntary and details and requirements actually vary. Cage free means that birds aren't in cages but that doesn't mean that they're not um, still crammed together on floors of sheds and with no room to engage in their natural behaviors like dust bathing and nesting. Keep in mind um, whether or not something's free range, the chickens are still de-beaked, cutting off their little beaks, and the males are still killed. Cage free and free range doesn't mean humane. They may still be giving antibiotics and when these chickens are too old to lay eggs, they're slaughtered for cheap meat. With an absence of regulation, the term free range is essentially meaningless. There is still cruelty and killing involved. The best way to ensure that your choices don't harm animals is simple. Don't eat them or anything they produce. In short, go vegan. I hope that's helped. I hope that's cleared up a few things. And um, there's so many alternatives to eggs. There's so many recipes. There's so many things you can make with vegan alternatives to eggs. So if you're not sure, make sure you do a bit of a search online for your favorite um, thing that includes eggs for a non-vegan alternative. And I hope to see you next week for our next question. How can we use social media to promote veganism? 
have a great week until then. See vivalavegan.net for more information.